we're diving into the fascinating and controversial world of Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle has got into the nerves of woke people enough times and we can't even count the number of times woke Hollywood has tried to cancel him. Whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying that Chappelle is one of the most influential comedians of our time. But what makes him so polarizing? Why does he seem to be at odds with woke Hollywood and parts of the liberal movement? And why do his views on gender, cancel culture, and the gay community spark so much backlash? Stay tuned as we break down Dave Chappelle's values, how they differ from the mainstream, and why they've landed him in hot water more than once. Here's my thing. I would support anybody's right to be whoever they feel like they are inside. I'm your ally in that. However, my question is, to what degree do I have to participate in your self-image? Is it fair that I have to change my whole pronoun game up? For if I put on an Argyle sweater and I'm like, hey everybody, I feel like a white guy in the sweater and I want some goddamn respect in a bank loan. That's not gonna work. Dave Chappelle is a comedian, actor, and writer known for his sharp wit, observational humor, and fearless approach to controversial topics. He first gained fame in the early 2000s with his iconic TV show, Chappelle's Show, which pushed the boundaries of comedy with its satirical take on race, politics, and American culture. After walking away from the show at the height of his fame, Chappelle took a long hiatus, only to return to stand-up comedy stronger than ever. But with his comeback came a new wave of criticism, particularly from those who felt his jokes were out of touch with modern sensibilities. Dave Chappelle has never shied away from controversy. In fact, it's almost become a part of his brand. But what is it about his values and beliefs that clash with what many consider the woke or liberal agenda? To answer that, we need to look at some key areas where his views differ significantly from those of many people in Hollywood and the progressive movement. I agree, man. Gender is a fact. You have to look at it from a woman's perspective. Look at it like this. Caitlyn Jenner, whom I've met, wonderful person, Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. Her first year as a woman. Ain't that something? Gender is a fact. This is a fact. Every human being in this room, every human being on Earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on Earth. That is a fact. Let's start with one of the most contentious issues, gender. Dave Chappelle has made headlines for his jokes about transgender people and the broader conversation about gender identity. Critics argue that his humor is offensive and perpetuates harmful stereotypes. But Chappelle insists that his jokes are rooted in his right to free speech and a reflection of his personal experiences and observations. In his Netflix specials, Chappelle often touches on topics like pronouns, transitioning, and the experiences of trans people. He jokes about being confused by the ever-evolving language around gender identity, which many people find relatable, while others see it as dismissive of the struggles that transgender individuals face. Chappelle's approach is to use humor as a way to address his discomfort or confusion. He believes that comedy should not have limits, and that it's his job to push the envelope and make people think, even if it makes them uncomfortable. This view puts him at odds with many woke activists who feel that certain topics, particularly those related to marginalized groups, should be approached with more sensitivity. We were breaking an unwritten and unspoken rule of show business. And if I say it, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. The rule is that no matter what you do in your artistic expression, you are never, ever allowed to upset the alphabet people. The backlash has been intense. Gay activists, along with some of Chappelle's show viewers, have called out his jokes as transphobic and harmful. They argue that jokes like his contribute to a culture of discrimination and violence against transgender people. Chappelle, however, sees himself as a truth teller and a provocateur, not as someone who intends harm. Now let's talk about cancel culture. Dave Chappelle has made it clear that he has no love for cancel culture. But what is cancel culture exactly? It's a form of public shaming where individuals, often celebrities, are called out for problematic behavior or statements and face consequences like losing job opportunities or being deplatformed. Cancel culture is like a modern day witch hunt where people are not given a chance to learn from their mistakes or explain themselves. It also limits the freedom of speech and expression. Chappelle has directly addressed cancel culture in his comedy, often joking that he's uncancelable because he doesn't rely on Hollywood for his success. 
he famously said, if this is what being canceled is like, I love it. His attitude reflects a deep-seated belief in freedom of expression and a disdain for what he sees as an overly sensitive culture that punishes people for speaking their minds. Chappelle's defiance in the face of cancel culture resonates with many who feel that society has become too quick to judge and condemn. They see him as a champion of free speech, someone who stands up to the mob mentality that can dominate social media. On the other hand, critics argue that this mindset allows harmful rhetoric to go unchecked and can excuse behavior that should be held accountable. Uh, duh, hey, duh, if you do anything wrong in your life, duh, and I find out about it, I'm gonna try to take everything away from you. And I don't care what I find out. Could be today, tomorrow, 15, 20 years from now, if I find out you're fucking duh, finished. Who, who's that? That's you. That's what the audience sounds like to me. Chappelle's relationship with the gay community is complex. While he's been accused of making homophobic and transphobic jokes, he's also expressed that he has friends in the gay community. In his comedy, Chappelle often pokes fun at everyone, regardless of their background, and sees this as a sign of equality. If everyone can be made fun of, then no one is being singled out. This tension between comedy and activism is at the heart of the backlash against Chappelle. While some see him as a brave comedian who speaks his mind, others see his humor as outdated and harmful. It's this clash of perspectives that has led to so much controversy surrounding his work. He has compared being transgender to racial identity issues, suggesting that if he could identify as a different race, it would be equally absurd. He has also made jokes about the genitalia of trans women, likening them to plant-based meat, which has drawn sharp criticism for being disrespectful and transphobic. Chappelle argues that the gay community, particularly white members, often forget their minority status when it comes to race. He suggests that they can switch to being white when it suits them, thus ignoring the struggles faced by black individuals. He suggests that the backlash he receives for his jokes is disproportionate and argues that people who are offended often only hear sound bites rather than the full context of his performances. He asserts that the outrage often stems from misunderstanding his intent, which he claims is not to harm marginalized groups, but to critique the societal dynamics involving race and privilege. And this, this thing I'm describing is a major issue that I have with that community. Gay people are minorities until they need to be white again. Hollywood, like much of society, is divided on issues of gender and identity. Many in the entertainment industry have become liberal and embraced more progressive, inclusive values, supporting initiatives for greater representation of gay people and stories. Chappelle's unapologetic style puts him at odds with this new Hollywood culture. Some see him as a necessary voice pushing back against an industry that, in their view, has become too sanitized and controlled by political correctness. Dave Chappelle has made it clear that he will not apologize for his jokes, arguing that comedy is a space where anything should be fair game. However, he's also acknowledged the pain that his jokes may cause and has called for open dialogue rather than censorship. Chappelle said, you cannot report on an artist's work and remove artistic nuance. He argues that taking jokes out of context strips them of their meaning and intent, turning them into easy targets for criticism. Chappelle has also suggested that his critics are missing the bigger picture, focusing on individual jokes rather than the broader message of his work.